AG, AGI is like porn. I know it when I see it and I've seen it. And you said AGI is already here, right? April the 16th was your, the day you said you've seen AGI. Is that correct? That was half tongue in cheek, but I still, I would say I meant it. Everyone has a different definition of AGI. People who are older, when they were growing up, they were told if AGI can mimic a human being, sorry, if AI can mimic a human being, that's AI. And clearly we have that. To the extent it doesn't mimic a human being, it's because it's too smart, right? But it gets jokes, it writes poems, it can converse with you, it can be your therapist. It also beats human experts most of the time, like on tests. So people keep on raising the bar for what's AGI. But by the common older definitions, we very clearly made it, at least with the best models. So that's what I meant. If I give an economics test to me and I give it to O3, O3 beats me because it's not close, really. Like I do better than most humans, but it's like playing chess against stockfish. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. And how would you define artificial superintelligence and the singularity and are we going to be approaching that soon do you think i don't have coherent definitions of those concepts i think they lead to a lot of people getting swept off their feet by visions of either dystopia utopia it kills us all we grow at 200 percent a year i don't believe in any of that there's human imperfections as a bottleneck and just how well the ai will ever work i would just say we're not sure so I don't know. I think those are still ill-defined concepts. I don't really believe in them. Again, do you think we all know and we see it in that regard as well? Yes. If it ever were to come, whatever it means, it would just sit up and send you a text message. Here are my 10 new cures for cancer. Go ahead and build this stuff. And you would build it and it would work. So yeah, we would know it when we saw it, but that seems not close to me. Do you think... You, you said you don't want to speculate too much, but what could be the threats? Do you think the threats of them completely take ASI completely taking over humanity? Do you think that's a bit too far overblown? Again, since I don't believe in ASI, I'm not sure how to answer the hypothetical. There'll be a lot of checks and balances, and we'll use AI to control other AI. And I think it will be fine. And AI will be much more likely to lengthen your life than to shorten it. That's how I put it. Any new technology, there are risks. Other forms of AI, they already have led to drones. Drones kill a lot of people. That's very bad. Now, some of that is useful. Like, it's good that Ukraine can defend itself with drones, but there's no doubting how violent it is, and that risk will spread. So I'm most concerned about evil humans using AI for their own purposes. And we already see that. Putin attacks Kiev with drones very often, kills people. I don't have a solution, but clearly it's a problem. Yeah. And you spoke about advances in biomedicine and how AI is potentially helping that. Could you be more specific about some like examples of how AI can be used to extend our lives and improve our biomedical practices? It can scan the space of possible drugs and suggest promising new candidates, say, in a week, in a manner that might have taken humans 10 years. It does not mean that most of those promising drug candidates will work. In many cases, none of them will work, but we'll know where to look, so to speak, for good ideas. It still might take 20 years to develop the drug, but the initial search process is being greatly accelerated. And we may see no benefit from that for at least 10 years, but I think it will be highly significant. The same is true in material science. Like what is a new material we might try to build or invent? It's very hard to know where to start if you're just a plain old human. AI will help us search that space, find promising candidates. Maybe only one in 10,000 pays off. But again, I think we will accelerate progress in at least those two areas. And we've already started down those paths. The payoffs might be long-term, but people are doing this now. It's not science fiction. It's just a question of how effective that accelerated search process will be. Are they doing that for every kind of illness, like cancer, malaria, etc.? The major ones, at least. Now, rare diseases, 
those are much less profitable. But I think over time, as AI gets better and cheaper, we'll turn our attention to those as well. And they receive so little attention because they're not so profitable. It could be finding good candidate drugs for those is not always that hard. So that's, those are less of a killer, say, than cancer, but it's pretty promising. And rare diseases in the aggregate are quite a few humans. So I think there's a good chance you're 20 years old, right? You could live to 100 in terms of expected value. I expect you will. You'll die of old age rather than cancer. Again, I don't think this will come within 10 years, but if you're 20, say today, normally you'd live to 82, whatever. You have 62 years of progress to get behind you. You could live to 105. I don't know what the number is, but whenever you would die of old age is probably your future fate. So have a good day. Yeah, I would be happy with that, to be fair. I've read some stuff about, this might be a bit sci-fi, but the idea of Neuralink and uploading your kind of brain to the cloud is that actually possible or is that going to be science fiction? Because there's a lot of people saying we might end up being able to live theoretically forever with advancements in brain machine interfaces and another like a tertiary layer on top of our brain that's connected to AGI or AI. Is that actually possible in your opinion? I'm not sure I'm a good person to ask. I do know right now, seven people have Neuralink connections, disabled people, and it works for them. So that's great. Obviously, we'll see much more of that. With only seven, you wouldn't quite say it's proven, but look, we basically know it works for some number of people. I'm more skeptical about uploading your mind or brain into the cloud. Maybe you can copy whatever, but I just think it's not you anymore. It's a copy of you and you're still dead. Whether it's feasible to do the upload, I don't know. To me, it sounds very distant, but again, I'm far from an expert in these areas. Yeah. And I guess if they're investing quite a lot of money into Neuralink, maybe that's not the goal right now. It's helping people with disabilities, but it doesn't necessarily break the fundamental laws of physics that could be feasible. And I don't want a Neuralink connection. Now, if I'm disabled, I do. But the notion that I could, say, plug an AI into my brain and become much smarter, I'm not looking forward to that, even if it's possible. I want to stay who I am. So maybe there's some distant future where you have to do it or all the other brainiacs outcompete you and you starve. I don't know. It's very hard to speculate about those scenarios.